done is, is form this umbrella organization, Army University, just like any university, state university system out there. And what it's done is bring together uh, all our schools, training and education facilities, as well as our research capability, uh, our libraries and all that, under one umbrella that allows us to coordinate their efforts, and allows us to cross queue from one to the other, and also, very importantly, allows us to now accredit and certify soldiers from when they enter basic training until when they go through Sergeant Major's Academy or whatever in getting academic uh, and professional credit for what they're doing. There's a couple of things that uh, Army University will address and actually help us uh, solve is one of the challenges we had. One is, uh, soldiers would come in the Army and get lots of different training, lots of different education, but it was never brought together under one umbrella. So one thing, they were not getting any either professional uh, certification, uh, credit for what they were doing, or they weren't getting academic credit towards a college degree, and therefore they would have to sort of uh, go offline outside the Army system and spend money and go to another school or university. So this is very powerful in that it gives them credit for what they're doing so we get their professional certification. I don't care if they're a truck driver or a welder or whatever from that point of view, as well as academic credit towards a bachelor, master's, or even uh, beyond that, postgraduate degree. So that's one thing they're gonna get credit for. The other thing it does is it synchronizes all of our activity and trade-offs so that one level of professional military education easily leads into the other. We know what the prerequisites are here. We know what the outcomes are here. And it also, it allows us to um, partner with other university systems so that we can bring in their research capability, exchange instructors, and so it broadens our outreach to outside the Army. Well, our Department of the Army civilians, uh, they are enrolled in it. We have a number here at AMSC, right here at uh, Fort Leavenworth. And so really the whole Army benefits from it because it's not only for the students that are going through, but as problems come up in the Army, we can, you can hand them off to Army University to research, to develop answers to, to partner with industry, to partner with other university systems. So it also, it benefits the students. Uh, it also benefits the whole Army in that it can help solve problems. And it increases rigor, both not only of the academic uh, performance of the students, but the quality of our instructors. Because as our instructors, go through instructor preparation so that they can be accredited, it will raise their rigor of their teaching profession as well. Some of the things that have already started to happen is we've started uh, working with a G1 and HRC so we can start basically compiling a transcript on soldiers from when they enter the Army and putting the mechanics together to do that. We have already started linking together some of our libraries and research mechanisms. We are now able to coordinate across our centers of excellence and our other educational components, such as Command General Staff College, are working very closely uh, with West Point and the Army War College to say, hey, some of the things you're doing there, we don't need to reinvent them here. Some of our the faculty development that maybe they do at the War College or West Point can be not only used uh, at the Combined Arms Center, but in Cadet Command. So Cadet Command, a a separate part of TRADOC from Combined Arms Center can now benefit by being part of Army University, working with West Point, working with University of Louisville and other institutions like that. So it provides a lot of connectivity for people even outside the university system proper. One of the things we're focusing on now is going out, myself and other leaders in TRADOC, and talking with other university systems, other state systems, say, will you partner with us? Can you give our soldiers credit? Can they kind of take some of our courses, take some of your courses? So I think some of the first things you'll start seeing manifest from this relationship are concrete partnerships with other state university systems. And really, Army University is one of the ways that we can get after the capability that we are aiming for in the Army operating concept when in a complex world. And it's that dealing with the complexity of the future, the unknown nature, the unpredictable nature of it, and the constantly changing aspect of it. So we've got to figure out how do we innovate faster? How do we bring together a multifunctional solution to these very complex problems? So a lot of times the solutions are not just Army solutions, but they have an economic component, a political component, a coalition component. Army University is allowing us to bring these other functions into our training and education program that are part of the complex world our soldiers are gonna operate in.